Hi guys, today's tutorial will be showing you how to use the Samsung S Finder feature on the Galaxy A5. So, as you've seen in previous tutorials we've covered, there is a search feature built into the settings app. It's quite handy and it's been a, it's, it's a good feature to be able to distinguish between different parts of the settings. However, if we scroll down from the top of our screen to open up our quick shortcuts menu, you'll also find the S Finder option. So S Finder acts as a more complete search function. So you can look for contacts, settings, apps, some of your media files, all that sort of stuff. So if we go ahead and, and click on it, what it will show is at the bottom it will show suggested keywords. So previously I've searched for my friend Jimmy uh, as a contact. As you can see here, it will show you some of the things you can look for. So you can look for specific tags. So if you've tagged a photo in a specific way, you can use this option to look for it. If we search device, say I want to look for the Bluetooth option. So if I start typing it in, as shown, eventually what will happen is it will come up with the settings. So it will show you and it gives you a quick link if we press on it. What it'll also do is below that, it'll, it will get a link to perform a web search so we can look for the term Bluetooth through Google. If we uh, press on the more option, we also get the select search locations. So what you can do here is you can choose where the S Finder app, uh, sorry, the S Finder feature will search for your term. So for example, if we know the Bluetooth isn't going to be a part of, say, the music app, we can, dis we can get rid of that for the time being as we don't want to search in there. It just quickens up the process. But once you've found your setting or your app or whatever you need, what you're looking for in S Finder, all you need to do is press on it and it'll open up in front of you. And that's how you use S Finder on the Samsung Galaxy A5. Thanks for watching.